We recently did an overhaul on our goldfish tank and I thought it would be a great idea to make a video on how we set up dual root zones in our aquaponic system. We use LECA at the bottom of our grow pots and clean them out thoroughly before incorporating them into our system so we know exactly what is going into the fish tank. Plus, all this dust will make the water murky and we don't want that since we favor a polished tank. I wash the expanded clay until the water runs clear, then to sterilize, I boil them for a few minutes. Because the LECA floats to the top, I like to agitate the water every now and then so each piece has direct contact with the boiling water. Doing the dual root zone method is also a great opportunity to add calcium to my system. Um, and I like to add eggshells that have been thoroughly rinsed, then boiled to remove any threat of contamination. We use BioStraight felt to separate the LECA from the soil in each pot. And it's basically a biodegradable pH balance material that prevents the soil from being pulled down out of the pot and into the grow bed as the system floods and drains. The soil actually being in the grow bed isn't that big of a deal, but we don't want the soil to actually get into any of the pumps or to clog up any of the pipes when we're using it in our system. Trace the pot you want to use with a pencil and you'll have the perfect size template. So you'll want to fill the LECA to just slightly above where the water line will reach. Then place your bio straight liner right above it. For the soil medium, we favor Dr. Earth's manure-free compost. We've had really great success with this brand and continue to use it as a natural choice in our aquariums and garden beds. If you can't find this brand near you, make sure to read the ingredients so you know exactly what you're inputting and are prepared if it changes the chemistry of your system at all. We've used the same product for our dirted 75 gallon community aquarium and it's a flourishing metropolis and thriving ecosystem. Eggshells provide calcium, which reduces the overall acidity of the water. Not to mention, it provides a balance to the system in helping to prevent pH crashes. Um, on top of that, the crushed eggshells provide calcium for our snails, which graze on the eggshells themselves and strengthen their shells, and then provides grit for a worm's digestive tract while also improving their reproductive process. Side note, I feel that the biostrate and the compost help give the composting worms that we use in our system a home. Um, I have a theory that the aquatic snails we have in our system actually outcompete and outbreed because they they breed and reproduce like crazy. Um, and then the worms kind of die off because both have similar dietary needs. We've used both for some time in our systems and whenever we've had to service the aquaponic grow bed, we notice that there's not nearly as many worms as what we first put into the actual system. Um, the dual root zone helps the worms because it provides a house I've never really seen the snails on top of or inside of the substrate that we're using inside the actual pots. And um, I like that so the worms don't have to compete with the snails for essentials. The worms do eventually make their way out of the pots and can even sometimes become free fish food by falling down the exit drains to the left. Um, but I hope this time to keep their numbers up up top by growing microgreens and leaving the pots intact 
in the system after I harvest them. So the decaying roots provide additional food on top of the fish waste for the worms. Their poop, also known as worm castings, are plant gold. From what I've been able to research, one of the biggest advantages of a dual root zone is that you can actually individually fertilize plants in your grow bed with fish safe inputs. We make a formula we call plant tonic, but I've heard of great success with things like compost tea, vermicompost tea, um, and then not to mention any water soluble additives would work great. I also particularly favor dual root zones because we've encountered pests a couple times and it's been super easy to remove the pots from the actual grow bed and minimize the shock to plants as we treated them with neem oil. Um, you don't want to necessarily add the neem oil when the pots are in the system because you could potentially hurt your fish. Thank you so much for watching our video. If this is your first time on our channel, we invite you into our home by clicking that subscribe button. Peace and love to all.